which you do for the positive. Okay, what I have here is a set of three in series, four parallel group of 26650s and has a capacity of about 20 amps at 12.6 volt. And I'm trying to set up a solar charging solution for it. This is the 100 uh, watt solar panel that I'm going to use to charge this set of batteries here and I am using a buck converter this is you can down convert from 10 to 50 volts to 1 to 36 volt at 10 amp so this by default was set at 5 amp output so that's about just right for the 100 watt solar panel. The 100 watt solar panel can output a maximum of about 5.5 or 5.8 amp. So the uh, uh, amperage is uh, adjustable. You can uh, hook it up to like a 5 volt input and you can measure the short circuit amp output by using your uh, amp meter set to at least 10 amp and you can uh, you can adjust the current output with the part here and of course the voltage can be adjusted I set it to about 12.54 volt this set of battery is protected by this 3S BMS rated at 40 amp output. This uh, BMS supposedly can handle uh, a small cordless electric drill. They usually output at least 20 amps, so uh, this can handle 40 amps, plus it has balanced uh, charging, although it's not perfect so every now and then you have to use your balance charger to try to balance charge it. I added a uh, balance cable to the uh, battery pack here so every uh, few months you can take it out and balance charge it with your RC charger but this would be a simple solution because this is only a, a converter and not a charge controller because I don't really need float charging and all that and equalization uh, which is typical uh, features of um, the solar charge controller so this is about ten dollars it has uh, a pretty good control of, uh, of the charging and this makes a good portable solution when you don't have AC charging just bring out your solar panel and it can charge it in about four to five hours all right uh, this is ten dollars the batteries are four for about $17 and you just have to be careful when you're charging this 
uh, don't go away especially when you're indoors when you're um, charging this type of lithium-ion batteries because they they pack a punch and it can cause serious problem when you overcharge or over discharge them. Alright, thanks for watching.